Today let's learn how to read fractions. Here we go. Look at this picture. Here you can see three parts out of four or three over four. Look here. The digit three represent something called the numerator. The numerator represent how many equal parts do you have? As you see here, you have just three pieces. As you see, look at this word. The numerator word starts with N U or number up. So you have to remember numerator number up. What about number down? We will call it denominator. Denominator means how many equal parts is the whole divided into? Look here. One, two, three, four. So the one whole is divided into four parts. And don't forget, denominator starts with D so that you will remember down. Number down, denominator. Now, after knowing the main parts in the fraction, let's learn how to read it. Here we go. Here, in the first picture, we have just one pizza. You can call full shape or full picture as one whole. Now, the next, as you see, we break this picture into two equal parts. You have just one part out of two. So here you have one half, one half. The next, one piece or one part out of three, one third, one third. The next, one part out of four. So it's one fourth, one fourth. Someone will call it one quarter. The next, if you break something into five equal parts and you have just one part, so it will be one fifth, one fifth. As you see, the next one part out of six, it will be one sixth, one sixth. Here, all the boards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the boards is seven. You have just one part, so it's one seventh, one seventh. The next, one part out of eight boards, so it will be one eighth, one eighth. Okay, the next, you have just one piece out of nine so it will be one ninth one ninth okay the last picture here we have just one part or one piece out of ten so it's one tenth one tenth now let's practice more on reading fractions here we go now can you read the fraction of this shape? No, I can't. Okay, at first, how many parts do you have? How many colored or shaded parts? Here, we have just two. Now, the one whole is divided into three parts. So, you can read it as two thirds two-thirds. The next. Can you read this? Yes, I can. Here, we have just three colored or shaded parts. So, we will write three up in the numerator. And, the one whole is divided into six parts. Or all the parts is six. So, we will write six down in the denominator. Now we can read it as three over six, or three sixths. Excellent. Now, I will answer the next. Example C. As you see, here, 
the colored parts or the number of parts that I have is just three. And the one whole is divided into four parts or all the parts in this shape is four. So I will read it as three over four or three fourths. Also, you can read it as three quarters. Now it's your turn. Answer the next. Example D. Here, we have just two colored or shaded parts. So, we will write two up in the numerator, and the one whole is divided into five parts, or all the parts is five. So, we will write five down in the denominator. Now we can read it as two over five, or two fifths. Excellent! Now, I will answer the next. Example E. As you see, here we have just one, two, three, three colored parts. So the numerator or the number of parts that I have is three. What about down? Down means all the parts in one whole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that the one whole is divided into eight parts. The denominator is eight. I can read it as three eighths. Now it's your turn again. Example F. Here we have just five colored or shaded parts. So we will write five up in the numerator. And the one whole is divided into nine parts, or all the parts is nine. So, we will write 9 down in the denominator. Now we can read it as 5 over 9, or 5 nines. Excellent! And this was our lesson. Thank you!